Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable the Run Dialog window in Windows 10. So it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first method is going to be if you're on Windows 10 Professional or Higher Edition, and you have access to the Local Group Policy Editor. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it and start by opening up the Start menu. Type in local group policy. Post match should come back of edit group policy. Again, if you're on Windows 10 Professional or higher, I'll show an alternative method for people on Windows 10 Home in a little bit. But we're going to go over the easy method first. So that just happens to be for everybody except Windows 10 Home users. And now we're going to collapse the computer configuration section. So go double click on that to minimize it and now directing all of our attention underneath a user configuration. Double click on the Ministry of Templates folder, so double click on that. Locate the Start Menu and Taskbar folder, double click on that. And there should be something on the right side now that says Remove Run Menu from Start Menu. So I just want to look for that. Right here, go ahead and double click on that. Select the Enabled option, and then select Apply and OK. Once that's done, just go ahead and close out of here. Restart your computer, and that should be about it. Now, if you do not have access to the local group policy editor, we're going to have to go through the registry editor instead. So in order to do that, we're going to just open up the Start menu. Type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, registry editor. Right-click on that, and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it so if anything went wrong in the future, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab, select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer and then just select save to obviously save it as the name implies and if you ever need to import it back in you just would select file and then import and navigate to the file location so again pretty straightforward process and now we're going to start in the registry editor by expanding the H key current user folder so go double click on that double click on the software folder double click on Microsoft and then do the same thing for Windows should be a current version folder under here, double click on that. Should be a policies folder and now expand that. And then finally there should be an explorer folder, just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of our screen here. Each backslash indicates a different folder we've gone under to this point. And now on the right side, you want to create a new DWORD value. So by doing the Group Policy Editor, it's already created this DWORD value in here for us. But if you do not have the Group Policy Editor and you didn't do that method, you will not see this no run DWORD 32-bit value. So you're going to have to create it. So just right click in a blank area, select New, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. Name it no run as you see on my screen right above this. So it's already been created like I said because we did method one. But you want to create no run in here. So just type in no run, capital N, and then the capital R and run. And then just hit enter to save it. And then assuming you have this value now that you've just created it, you want to go ahead and double click on it. You want to make sure it's set to 1 if you want to have it disabled. Change it to 2 to enable it, so just delete the 1 and type in number 2 if you want to enable it. If you want to disable it, just type the number 1, select OK. Now you will have to restart your computer to save that change. And that's pretty much it guys. So it, again, if I wasn't clear, everything is done through the registry. So the group policy editor basically created a registry entry for us. But if you didn't have the group policy editor, we had to create the registry entry. So everything pretty much ties together in Windows. Just want to make that pretty clear. And that's basically why that was already there in my case. But you'll have to create it in your case if you do not have the group policy editor. So I think that's pretty straightforward. 
And as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.